Today we are talking about the best stocks to buy. As we enter June, stocks find themselves on relatively shaky ground. Here we delve into a few companies whose stocks could influence market movements this month. Apple, once the world's most valuable company, experienced a rough start to the year. It lost its title to Microsoft in early January due to reports of sluggish iPhone sales and concerns that Apple had lagged in the realm of artificial intelligence. Investors now look to the upcoming annual Worldwide Developer Conference set to commence on June 10th with the hope that Apple can reignite some optimism. The conference's keynote address is expected to unveil new operating systems, including iOS 18, with a focus likely on artificial intelligence. Reports suggest Apple has been in talks with Google and OpenAI about licensing their AI models for integration into iOS 18. Anticipate numerous demonstrations of generative AI features within apps like iMessage, Photos, and Safari, and possibly an update to Siri. This keynote could provide investors with a clearer outline of Apple's overall AI strategy, potentially dispelling a major uncertainty that has hovered over its stock throughout the year. No list of stocks to watch would be complete without mentioning NVIDIA. This AI chipmaker's shares have more than doubled in value this year, following a remarkable tripling in 2023. NVIDIA's stock soared above $1,000 in May after another impressive earnings report and the announcement of a 10 for 1 stock split, which is expected to take effect after markets close on June 7th. NVIDIA's dominance in the AI accelerator market, with Bank of America analysts estimating its market share exceeds 80%, places it in a highly advantageous position. With almost every tech company vying for the lead in the AI arms race, NVIDIA stands to benefit significantly from upcoming developments. Potential catalysts for NVIDIA in June include a presentation at the Bank of America Securities Global Technology Conference on June 5th and its annual general meeting on June 26th. Turning to Broadcom, the third largest semiconductor company trading on United States exchanges, it will report fiscal second quarter earnings on June 12th. The company posted a 34% increase in revenue last quarter, or 11%, excluding benefits from its acquisition of cybersecurity firm VMware. Semiconductor revenue, which will likely be the focal point of Broadcom's upcoming report, rose 4% to $7.39 billion in the first quarter, significantly driven by a quadrupling in AI semiconductor revenue to $2.3 billion. NVIDIA's recent massive earnings beat demonstrated the strength of AI demand, and Broadcom's results could either support or challenge the notion that AI spending is broadly benefiting the sector. Next, let's talk about Tesla. Elon Musk, already among the world's richest individuals, could see a substantial raise this month. Tesla shareholders will vote on his compensation package at the company's annual general meeting on June the 13th. This compensation package, with a maximum value of nearly $56 billion, was initially awarded by shareholders in 2018, but was struck down in January by Delaware's top chancery court to judge. The judge ruled that the package was awarded unfairly, considering Musk's ties to Tesla's board and flaws in the shareholder voting process. Musk's response was swift, criticizing the incorporation of companies in Delaware and suggesting Tesla could reincorporate in Texas, a proposal on which shareholders will also vote this month. Both proposals have sparked an aggressive campaign of support, with Musk implying that Tesla's AI and robotics development hinges on their approval. He has also hinted at investing in AI development outside of Tesla if not granted a 25% stake in the company, up from his current 13% stake. Another stock I am watching is Oracle. This company is expected to report fiscal 2024 fourth quarter and full year results in mid-June. The enterprise software company has set a high bar with a record $80 billion order backlog reported in March, driven by significant new cloud infrastructure contracts. Chief Executive Officer Safra Katz forecasted that 43% of this backlog would be recognized as revenue within a year, and that the company's cloud infrastructure business would maintain its hypergrowth phase, which saw a 53% increase in quarter three. Investors will be keen to see evidence of a backlog conversion into revenue for the three months ending May 31st, and Wall Street will likely scrutinize signs of continued robust demand for AI products, which contributed to double-digit revenue revenue growth in Oracle's cloud business last quarter. 
I also want to bring your attention to Eli Lilly. Eli Lilly's Alzheimer's drug donanumab will be a focal point when the Food and Drug Administration's Peripheral and Central Nervous System Drugs Advisory Committee convenes on June 10th. The drug was found to be safe and effective in a Phase 3 clinical trial with results published last July. Eli Lilly had anticipated FDA approval in the first quarter of this year, but was surprised by a regulatory delay. This delay, while unusual, is not unprecedented, as similar reviews were conducted conducted before the approval of donanumab competitors. A decision on donanumab could arrive before the end of June. Lastly, Nike is expected to report results for its fiscal 2024 fourth quarter towards the end of the month. The shoemaker has struggled with sluggish sales, particularly in China, for several quarters. Expectations are low for the upcoming report, following management's warning in March of anticipated revenue declines by low single digits in the first half of its 2025 fiscal year, starting in June. Investors will be looking for progress on the $2 billion cost-cutting plan announced in December. Executives may also use the opportunity of the upcoming Summer Olympics in Paris, kicking off in late July, to promote new high-performance products. In conclusion, June presents a critical juncture for several major companies, each with potential market-moving announcements and developments. Apple's AI strategy, NVIDIA's stock split and presentations, Broadcom's earnings, Tesla's shareholder votes, Oracle's backlog conversion, Eli Lilly's drug approval, and Nike's financial performance all stand to significantly impact their respective stock performances and broader market sentiment. With that being said, I wish you the best of luck, happy investing, and I will see you in the next video.